Hey, what's up everybody? What's going on? Remy Sovereign here, back with another video today. And what I wanted to talk about in today's new video is why I'm not a fan of exercise in the morning and how exercise in the morning could actually lead to a greater risk of a spinal disc injury and how it actually can make someone's symptoms worse with regards to lower back pain. So to understand all of this, guys, we actually have to look at the biomechanics of our spine and the diurnal changes associated with our spine. So we know that prior to going to bed, we tend to be the shortest in our height. And by being the shortest in our height, the reason why we are is because of all the compressive tasks we have engaged in throughout the day. And by engaging all those compressive tasks throughout the day, we are going to cause our discs to expel fluid. So by our discs expelling fluid, they then will decrease in height because they will begin to bulge slightly and that will decrease our height. And so when we go to bed now and when we go to sleep and we engage in that static position where we're laying down, we will now allow for a decompressive effect to occur. And while this decompressive effect occurs for seven, eight, nine hours while we're sleeping or for, for however long, we're going to absorb more fluid into the spinal discs, which is gonna cause them to expand and increase in height. And so while everyone would like to be taller in the, in the early morning and everyone would prefer to probably be taller and I don't think anyone would really like to be shorter, this essentially is not a good thing when we go to perform exercise in the morning, specifically exercise that will involve spinal motion, such as maybe performing a sit-up when engaging in flexion or bending over to tie your shoes or maybe you're tying your skates or engaging in activity like hockey where you're shooting. It's not good because when it's a popping is because our discs are fully hydrated and we have all that fluid absorption that has occurred overnight, they will expand in height and there will be more stress placed onto our spinal discs because of them become more reliant. They become more reliant on absorbing a lot of that compressive forces and we don't rely on as much as some of the other tissues that may be associated with absorbing the compressive forces that we may engage in. So the point being here though is that we can have a significant amount of more stress placed on our spinal discs in the morning when we engage in spinal based exercise or activity. And actually Adams and colleagues in 1987 actually estimated that this could increase up to about 300% more stress in the early morning as compared to the evening on our spinal discs and about 80% more on the ligament structures as well when compared to the evening. Now that's important to understand guys because we're at a, a much greater risk of injury in the morning just based on what Adams and colleagues concluded and the reason being is because of that fluid content and that expansion in spinal in our spine and the spinal disc height in the morning. So now as we move on throughout the day though and as we engage in activities like standing, walking or sitting, compressive forces are going to be placed onto our spine and by these compressive forces placed onto our spine we're now going to expel fluid, we become shorter in height and we have actually an increase in affinity for water and increased affinity for fluid. Now this would be good because now when we're going to perform compressive tasks, we don't have that same fluid content or that full hydration occurring, which is going to place more stress onto kind of the ligament structures or onto our disc and to our lower back. So as we move on and wait throughout the day to perform exercise, it would be best for some people if we're looking at things from an injury prevention point of view. If you're looking to reduce injury or maybe reduce symptoms of an individual, it'd be best to perform exercise maybe in the afternoon or maybe in the evening to kind of prevent maybe a spinal disc injury to occur. Now, with all that being said though, with regards to diurnal changes in our spine, other structures are gonna have different effects at different times in the day as well. And this, you know, we could, obviously we look at the spinal disc, but we could look at the ligaments, the joints, the bones, they're all gonna be different changes as a, result of that, as a result of that change in spine height. But with specific regard to our intervertebral discs and kind of the ligament structures in our lower back, they are at a greater risk for injury in the morning when performing spinal based movements or activities or spinal based exercise that may involve flexion or may involve extension. So if you're someone that may has lower back pain and you actually have, your symptoms are worse in the morning, this would be the reason why, or at least one of the reasons why you maybe have your symptoms maybe being worse is because of that change in spinal height. And if you're looking to prevent injury or if you're looking to kind of prevent uh, maybe a spinal disc injury from occurring or reducing that risk of injury, it'd be best to kind of avoid spinal based exercise activity early in the morning. Now, doing things like walking, jogging may be all right. That may be fine to do early in the morning because that's not really involving a great or uh, it's not really involving a great deal of spinal range of motion. You're not really moving your spine, you're staying more static. But the point being there though, guys, is that avoiding spinal exercise in the morning is gonna be critical for reducing kind of the risk of injury 
for an individual. So the point being though, guys, is because of that fluid content, because of our discipline being fully hydrated in the morning, it would be best to avoid exercise in the, in the early morning. And that's why I'm specifically not a fan of exercise is because of this reason. Now, there's other reasons as well, but this is one of the major reasons why is because people are at a greater risk for spinal disc injuries when performing exercise in the morning. Specifically, like I mentioned, no spinal based exercise. So the kind of takeaway from all this guys is that if you're looking to reduce the risk of injury or if you're someone with lower back pain, it may be best to wait till the afternoon or evening when our spinal discs have now kind of expelled some of that fluid and are not fully hydrated in order to kind of reduce some of the stress on the spinal disc and ligament structures as well in order to kind of reduce the risk of injury or maybe symptoms that one may be one may be experiencing. So without that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have someone that actually experiences lower back pain and your symptoms are worse in the morning, I'd love to hear about your story because this could be one of the specific reasons why, because of the changes in our spinal height and spinal mechanics in the morning. And if maybe you're someone that has actually removed exercise from earlier in the morning and you prefer afternoon or evening exercise, I'd actually love to hear about that as well. And if maybe if you used to perform morning exercise, but you noticed that afternoon or evening exercise, you've actually noticed better performance outputs or you overall just feel better performing exercise in the afternoon and evening. And that's it for this video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be happy to answer them. Take care.